Igor Sviantek versus Coco Goff is the first semi-final for the Ladies French Open for 2024. Both players have had similar roads to get to this stage. Goff entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on the qualifier Avdiva in the first round. But this is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-1. In the second round, she'll take on another qualifier, Zedin Shek. But again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, she'll take on Yastremska, the 30th seed. And this was ugly. With Goff getting through, even though she hit a lot of errors, 6-2, 6-4 in straight sets. In the fourth round, she'll take on Kochi Aredo, who had taken out her Daj Maya last year's semi-finalist along the Way. And again, no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6 1 6 2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the number eight seed Jabur, who had had some tough matches to get to this stage. And after dropping the first set, Goff would fight back to win 4 6 6 2 6 3 to advance to the semi finals. Shvion take in the tournament as the number one seed and would take on the qualifier Jean Jean in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 2. In the second round, she'd take on Naomi Osaka, a fellow four time Grand Slam champion who was on the comeback. And this was epic. With Shvion taking the first and losing the second, eventually fighting back from match point down in the third, 7-6-1-6-7-5 to advance to the next round. In the third round, she'd take on Buskova, and after a close first set, Shvionzek would win in straights, 6-4-6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Potapova, who had gotten lucky with the draw opening up, and this was a demolition job. Shvionzek winning 6-love-6-love six six love in the fastest match she'd ever won to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Shvionzek would take on Von Drusova, the number five seed, a player that she had beaten every time they'd played. And this is no different, with Shvionzek storming out of the blocks, winning in straights, 6-love-6-2 six six to advance to the quarterfinals. These who have played 11 times before with Shiontek holding a 10 1 head to head record. The only win from Goff, of course, being during that US Open Series last year where she finally got a win over Sviantec. But unfortunately for Goff, they also played recently in a semi-final in Rome, and it was an easy win for Sviantec. So Goff's going to have to do something crazy if she is going to beat Sviantec for the first time on clay. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and start off better than she did against Jabur. Against Jabur, she was a little bit shaky. She was hitting a lot of errors in the first set. She can't afford to hit errors in the first set against Sviantec because if you give her a first set, she usually runs away with it. If Sviantec's going to win this one, she needs to do exactly what she's been doing against Goff in their previous meetings. She hasn't been troubled by Goff on clay really as well, especially with that recent meeting in Rome. So she just has to do what she does, be aggressive and get some errors from Goff and she'll get it done. One versus three, it's a big four matchup. But unfortunately, I just don't see Goff winning this one. I think Sviantec wins this one in straight sets as she has over their history. It's just a terrible matchup for Goff. And I've got Sviantec in the final again, but let me know in the comments below who's going to make the final.